go. Okay. So. Oh, here is a sloppy mail time video. Yes. Episode we don't freaking know. Episode two of 2019. <laughs> um, so we got stuff, and I, like I said, I forgot to put up videos. And now since I put up a video, people sent me stuff. <laughs> and I actually don't mind videotaping you now. Yeah. Because people appreciate me giving you shit. Shh. I language. know. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, like I say in most of the videos, you don't have to send anything. But if you would like to, I put the address for the P.O. box in the description below. And more than likely I will forget and people will tell me that I didn't do it and then I will do it. So, in any instance, it'll be there in the description eventually. So if you're early and it's not there, don't worry. If you want to send something, you know, pocket lint, you, you will get your chance. So, we got two boxes. One and two. Which one? Go for two. No one. So mm -hmm. this is from... Oh, and Matt has opened and closed that knife about a hundred times since I've walked into the office. Yeah, it has a beautiful action. This was sent in by a viewer. Here we and, go. And uh, the minute I opened it, everyone was like, don't kill yourself. Yeah, don't. And I never have cut myself with it. So you can all uh, sleep easy knowing that. So this is from Mr. Jack Stark. Henry Hudson Parkway, Bronx, New York. That is very, uh, Jack Stark is very, uh, what a name. Marvel Comics sounding. <laughs> Stark Industries. I thought you were trying not to say people's names. Uh, it was only the one guy that got in trouble, so I think most of the people at this point realize right, okay. that I may or may not, uh, I have oral diarrhea, so things are going to come out of my mouth, and if they give me ways to uh, facilitate that, it might not be in their best interest. Is that, is that newspaper? When's it from? I always like to know. It's usually in the top corner. I don't know what it is. You need to figure it out then. There's Hughes a trumpet. Jackman. Oh, they're like poster. See, I, I told you, it's always something random. Hugh Jack, it's, it's like he works on uh, maybe a, oh no, here, this is newspaper. Oh, well that's about immigration and the president, so we're not going there. <laughs> People will go nuts. Yeah, but what's the date? Have. Oh, that's another one of the same first pages. Yeah, they're like, it's like a poster for a movie or... New York Times, September 15th, oh. 2019. Okay. Oh, there's things in here. Oh my. Oh, I know what this is. This is a valve spring kit. Oh yeah? These are seats. Valve spring seats for cylinder head. These are uh, valve stem seals. Here's seats. Here is oversized keepers. These are like twice or triple the size of stock keepers. Oh yeah, they are. They're pretty big. So this is like a that's a ball on kit right there. Did you know that they were coming? I have no idea. It's a letter. Why don't you read it? starts on the other page. Oh, he uses it? Okay, yeah, I don't want to show that. I don't, he gives his personal, there's personal email and phone number and stuff back here. Okay, so but you can read the letter. Jeez. Hi, Matt. I've been a fan of yours for a while, and I've developed an Ultimate LS spring kit for up to 650 lift. It includes 16 PSI developed valve springs, 16 tool steel custom 10 degree valve retainers, 32 10 degree proprietary valve lock, that are manufactured by Precision Products for use only for you something. Uh, the handwriting is about as good as mine. Uh, the valve locks are made for us by the biggest NASCAR manufacturer in the US. Besides the excellent quality of the parts, you can't beat the unbelievable price of $179.99. Wow, that is a very good price. No one can match the quality or the price. I hope you will test this kit in yours or a friend's car. Good for you, Jack. I just 
dusted another engine in front. Who will <laughs> gladly use these and I'll just bump my budget $70, $50 or so. Yeah, that's a. Uh, so how does he, how do people, Riverdale Speed. I'll have to ask and then I'll put it in. His name's Jack. And it says Riverdale Speed. So these are, he makes, his company makes valve springs. And all this, this whole kit's 180 bucks. I think the cheapest you can get the double, I like to use Brian Tooley doubles. They're like 250, 260. Oh yeah, those are nice. So it is a single spring. I said double. Wow, that's a heavy spring. Yeah, seriously. So it has its own thing. So is this, yeah, interesting. So 650 lift single spring kit. I'm very curious to see how that works out. We'll try it. We'll put it in uh, sacrificial number two. So we have everything. So yeah, I will uh, pack it back up. So thank you very much, Mr. Jack. I'll, uh, I'll try to email him, or maybe he can comment in the video if people can purchase these. He didn't say, unless we look up like the website maybe, Riverdale Speed, and it shows it all there, uh, very obviously. I so, do it right now, but you're you're watching something weird on YouTube. Yeah, that, that, is, that guy is... Just, you're watching weird Amazon purchases. I just got cued into these guys. They do something that's, that's really, really very funny. I like the goggle things on his head. I just watched the video. Let's just, I mean, we have plenty of time. We're actually, uh, it's called Dope or Not on YouTube, and I just Matt watched. was watching. I bought the first 10 things Amazon suggested to That's me. That's interesting to me. Well, yeah, I've watched Amazon reviews. Well, just the first 10 things Amazon suggested. Or like those mystery boxes when you don't know what you're going to yeah, get. Yeah, not even so much that. The video just before this one, he did one where he did uh, Fiverr artists. You ever hear of Fiverr? It's where you can pay like graphic designers and artists like it was supposed to be five dollars only kind of thing but now it's five to like twenty five hundred dollars and they used a random word generator and the one was make a backpack that it's also a hammock or a fashionable so they paid people like they did two comparisons like a five dollar like the cheapest is like five or ten dollars mm -hmm. and then they paid people like 150 dollars to design different things and the one was make a fashionable backpack that's also a hammock and they paid like women fashion designers and paid them five or $150 to create a product. And the one woman even created a miniature physical piece of the product. They're like, this $150 wasn't even enough for what this person put into it. So I was so interested in it that I'm watching another one that they did, but they do a good job. Because I watch all sorts of strange things. But that's actually pretty neat. So this one is from EFI Source. Oh. Mike Tomaszewski. They're great guys. Mr. Mike and Mike. That whole crew there is awesome. Mike and Mike. Mike Jr., Mike Sr. I still want their garage that's underneath the building. Oh, uh, yeah, that would, be, that would be fairly nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, that That'd is so nice. awesome. Oh. I did, have to look this up. Wait, what is that? That's this a harness. I put this on somebody's car, though, just for fun. It is, he told me, this is their, uh, their all-in-one cheapest running LS solution that he was telling me about. So this thing, it's a micro squirt and it has, I'm trying to find it, alternator control built into the harness, which is something everybody was asking for. So now, Micro Squirt has alternator, and it's a plug and play LS kit. And then I think he put in, I have to read the specifics on this. There's a extra wiring in the base Micro Squirt kit. And then they also did a modification to the Micro Squirt to do uh, idle air control. Oh, is that what that is? It's the extension harness for the idle air, I think. Yep. So now micro squirt can do idle air control. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, he was asking me if I would do another review on a newer uh, 
like uh, since they took the micro squirt, which I famously pushed him into doing for LSs, and they updated it with some features people were asking for, and he's like, would you put one on a car? And I said, sure. So we'll have to find somebody, one of my friends maybe in the Lehigh Valley area here to, uh, if they have something we can put a micro on, because I didn't, all of my vehicles are done, unless we buy a vehicle just to put this on. Escort? Well, well, we'll see. Tempo? If you get something. I've been trying. I know, we've been looking. <clears throat> we don't want nothing, to get people too excited. But nothing yeah. has sparked my interest enough for, to actually make yeah, a purchase. Nothing, there's nothing really cool enough, to be honest. Yeah, nothing's cool. Everything's neat. overpriced. This you can't find neat. crap. People were asking about, obviously the micro squirt is very capable for the money. And uh, people were like, we want it to do more. So they, uh, they took care of that. I wonder what's left. I think there's one more input left. I have to figure out all the specifics. So you could probably do like anti-lag, and then you have vital control and an alternator and everything built in. So yeah, it would be awesome to try this guy out, see how it does. We'll see if anybody uh, in the area can use it. Otherwise, it might be a little bit of a wait. But I know Mike doesn't really care about that. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll use it eventually. But that's cool. I didn't know. He told me about it the other day. He said, did you know we're doing this? And they're I up said, to a bunch of things, aren't they? Yes. He said they're doing drive-by-wire. They have a drive-by-wire thing. It's, like, it's complete, but they want to do more testing before they sell it. So they have drive-by-wire now for their stuff. We need to go visit them soon. Yeah, that'd be cool. Bring the kid. Yes, Rotato. Let him just loose an EFI source. Yes, so we have Amazon Engine 1 and 2 coming. We'll have to show the mailman. Oh, wait, both of them are coming? We'll have to show the mailman dropping off the engines. Wait, both of them are coming? There's two motors. Yeah, one from your your best friend, and the other one's from where? Uh, Maple Grove Auto says he has a bunch of spare uh, engines. Oh, okay. Nobody wants the 4.8s, so he said... But they're know, so great. He has, like... Nothing. He had to pay like a core charge on it, but uh, I think it was like 130 or 175 bucks. So that's even cheaper than the 200 dollars I bought these two 48s for. So that's what we're gonna. I think Cameron's. They're both core engines, so they're a shop that does swaps. So when they so that issue, means the Mustang has to come out of the woods. Yeah. We pushed it into the woods. I didn't want to see it anymore. I couldn't stand looking at it. I just pushed it into the woods and. And, call and, there's, it a and, day. and there's interesting findings, which I'll do an update video on. Oh yeah. Uh, about maybe why the same exact cylinder broke four times in a row, which is conspicuous. So I don't want to say anything, but we'll. Uh, it's not injectors. It's not ECU related. We can't find any issues with that stuff. But there is a pattern. Yes, we, you know we, we think we know. Matt may have caught on to something. <laughs> Look at him, he just looks better, he looks happy. So yes, everybody, Matt is not so I'm down not on depressed. himself. Yeah, yeah, he's not depressed. I just made uh Yeah, your voice and tone in that video was horrible. Even I, I had, felt bad. I guess it was because I was like, it was late at night and I was just thinking out loud, but everyone's like, oh, dude, cheer. And I'm like, I'm and, not upset. And our son and I actually watched that video together on Sunday while Matt was tuning. And I was like, oh my gosh, he sounds horrible. Yeah, people were like, oh, I don't let the car. I'm like, I'm not. I'm like, if I had not 20 things to do around the house, this thing would be out and apart already. And if I had another engine, it might be in already. So just now, I'm just, I, I have uh, exhausted my engine supply, and I have them on the way. I just don't want to look at the car anymore. I know. Well, hopefully, once everything is done, and it's going fast and somewhat reliable, maybe someone would like to purchase it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just need to show up with a new project car soon. I'm, I'm, it's killing me. Yes. We need something fun. We need burnouts. After yes. watching Tom, Turbo Tom's Tacoma doing those burnouts, I was like, yeah, oh I my god. I, I wish I just had like a... Truck well, we need to go do the video in the G. Like, yeah. remember I found the location? That's not like, that's funny. That car doesn't. I've never tried. It's hard to, I don't want to break 
the rear. It doesn't wheel hop, it does nice rollers, but it's not something you jump in and you're like, I just want to spin the tires off. In this yeah, thing. I feel like if I were to try, I'd end up in a ditch. It's, it's pretty wild. Yeah. Like it, it aggressively wants traction. It's actually mm -hmm. like one of the most, uh, I'm, I'm blown away with how much power it makes and how much traction it has, but you can skate it all over if you want to, but it's not something I jump in and I'm like, I can't wait to just step on both pedals and blow over through an intersection. Uh, it doesn't, it's not that kind of, I don't know what it is, right? Yeah, well. And the Mustang, like the headlights don't even work. I don't have turn signals on it. There well, is brake Mitch's lights. turbo truck is gonna hopefully come along soon. Yes. It's not like. Uh, we'll go get ice cream. It's not, it's definitely not like Colorado where you just take it somewhere and. and oh, that was a dream. That was just a dream. It just doesn't, doesn't, it's not that it's bad. And it's not that it's gonna break. Uh, we beat on it all the time. But uh, it's just when you get in it, you... I beat on it all the time. It's not like when you get in it, you're not just like, I can't wait to just dump the clutch in second and brake stand this thing. I don't know. I don't get that. No, it's, it's just fun to drive. It's, it's, it's actually like, uh, just, it's just fun to drive because it handles so well she's also. She's classy. You don't, yeah. you don't just stomp it. I mean, you do, but you don't just... <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a two valve Mustang. You don't just... Speaking of that, I've been trying to find one of those too. Yes. You want a million dollars. That's why I bought the SN95 Foxes, and I was like, I like New Edge them. Cobra O2000 to O4 bodied Mustangs or a roller, but people either, it's either awful or someone spent a lot, people, the Ford guys dump their entire savings into the car and it's beautiful and it's just not worth it to build a budget racer out of a I want a black, I want a black new edge. Yeah, that'd be Yeah, nice. if you could find a black new edge, 1500, I'd be, that, I would buy it. But no, everybody like wants like a the bazillion. It looks awful, it's a V6. It's gone. Oh yeah. It became one with the ground and then it went away. Yeah. It won a million dollars. It's, it's third gen. It's third gen. It grew into the woods. If you ever disappeared. take a, a drive on all of our back roads, which I do because I just love where we live, you can find a third gen probably every 20 houses, like growing in the weeds, or they're either like If you don't prestige. see it, you're not looking hard enough, it's there. Oh yeah, they're there. Oh my God, and they, or they're like extremely clean because they've kept it in the garage and they're taking it out That's just to clean the dirt. I was just saying that the other day to a guy, I was tuning a fourth gen, and I was like, you Camaro third gen, fourth gen guys, the car's either ruined or beautiful. Yeah, There's no, can. at least in Pennsylvania, we need to go do a photo shoot at the at the one that's actually growing into the ground. Yeah, we have to ask that guy because it's in a used car lot, but it's like perfect. It's in the ground. It's in the woods in the ground. You can tell the season by the way it looks. Yep. All right, well, I hope everyone enjoyed our ramble. Yes, is that, so I'm gonna put those in the new engine, why not? Uh, they're roughly the same cost. I have like 450 or $350 of cushion in the budget uh, so I can put those in because the packs, the pack springs were like 120 or 130, and those are 170. So there really isn't that big of a difference. It's another 30 bucks or so into my budget. It's not a problem. Actually, that'll be offset by the other engine. Is it will cost as much as a core motor, and I think it was in the 170 range. So the 30 dollars I recuperate can go into these springs. It'll be a push. It'll be the same price. Everyone's like, oh, it's eights for 12s now, or it's 12 for 12s, or it's 12s for 20. I'm like, you guys, take a look at that car. You really think it costs that much money? If something like that costs that much money in your area, I feel bad for you. I understand if you're in Alaska or Brazil where LSs are not prominent and the stuff isn't cheap and you might be a moron and you can't do stuff with your hands, it can be expensive, but I explained that in the beginning of the series. Okay. Ramble out. Well, yeah, and I also have to take the camera and do the video of my cars. Now that I'm feeling better, I should go do my video. Yeah. All right, well, bye, guys. Yeah, bye.